Okay, so here's another tip for you guys. The best signal I have got on the east side, unfortunately, is by the visitor center. Um, if you need to call anybody, um, text, go on Facebook or whatever, Instagram, the best signal is right at the visitor center. So sometimes when I get off the shuttle, I'll be there for like 20, 30 minutes just updating everything and just, if I gotta do payments, do payments or whatever I gotta do, um, I do it at the visitor's, visitor center because they have the best signal on the East Coast, even, even not East Coast, the east, the east part of the, right from where I'm at. Because even where I'm at the campground, you know, the Wi-Fi is not that great. Um, and then of course the signal is like non-existent. So the best signal I get is by the visitor center. So just give you a little heads up if, though, if you guys are out here and you are desperate for a signal um you guys come to the visitor center and get your signal in unless it's like a, a wi-fi at your you know at your lodge or something or campground but sometimes the the signal is not the greatest unless you're there when no one else is there that's when the wi-fi becomes a little bit better at probably your campgrounds and you may get a signal coming in if you have like i have at&t and sometimes the signal comes in and then, but if everybody's there, it just goes away. But when I'm here, it's, it's I, I've, I've always get signal when I'm here, even when there's a bunch of people, I've always get signal at the, um, at the visitor center of St. Mary. So just giving you guys a little pro tip on that one. <laughs> Okay, so that was the visitor center to the St. Mary. You can also get your um, back, um, back, back permits from there too. Um, you can also get, and it also sh shows you any closures or anything like that. And also if there's bear activity, they'll have the, all that information there for you as well. So I would say the St. Mary one has a lot more information than, um, than the other, than the other, um, visitor centers so that's something that you know I, I would recommend going to all of them but I think St. Mary's is probably the biggest one they have and it has more to do with the the culture of the Native Americans in 
in America as well, or in this area the most as well. And they also have a theater here as well that you can watch um, movies as you know, 15 minute movie as well. So that's so I was I would recommend still coming to um, St. Mary Visitor Center, even though it's kind of like all the way at the end for the east entrance, but there's there is something for you to do here and it has like a lot more information here in my opinion i mean i i didn't even know about the the beer activity as much as like when i went to the other visitor centers they were just they just didn't talk about that stuff they just you know brung up purchases um but here they have all that information for you and also the um the backcountry permit. That's what I don't know why I was I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, backcountry permits you can get here as well. It also tells you the dates and you know all the information that you are going to need, and you're going to have to pay money for that too as well. But you can always make sure you know that information online before you get to the Glacier National Park. So make sure you do all your 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 information online first before you kind of come here, you know, and then you won't be surprised as much. Like oh okay, can't do this, can't do that. So. But um, I, I just found out why the shuttles are not going to be available on the 25th. It's because they have one of their drivers did pass away. So they're having a morning on the 25th. So, but like I said, all the, if you, if you are coming to Glacier National Park, always make sure you do check their, their Instagram, their web, their, their Facebook. Normally I go through Facebook and Instagram and they update that the most and they will tell you if they're having any type of little things like that that will happen, the shuttles are down or something like that for a day for a, a, a morning for somebody that's, that did pass away. Um, so that's just a um, little bit of information and tips for you guys if you do come to Glacier National Park. So this is pretty much the, the small, say the town at the St. Mary before you come to the Glacier's National Park entranceway. And like I said, St. Mary's Visitor Center is right there. And I just, I just walked it. So, see, this is what I was talking about, the, the gas prices here. It's very expensive here. Um, they're, you're pushing about, right now, because you know, gas prices are high, higher, <laughs> you're looking at $6 here. But if you go to the West entrance, you're looking at um, 469-ish, 459 for regular gas. It goes up if you go for the premium and then the other one, diesel and all that other stuff. So just let you know that the gas here at the St. Mary um, Village is expensive. It's expensive down here. So what? that's why I went, or you, you make sure you get gas when you come, before you come here. Um, that's why I got gas at the West. I was like, oh, let me just get this gas and get an oil change and call it a day. But, St. Mary Village.
Okay, so it wasn't a wash today. It actually turned out kind of really nice today. Still a little bit more clouds um, for photography issues, you know. If you're a photographer, you're like, eh, it's a little bit too many clouds, but it kind of turned out pretty nice today. Um, it hasn't rained yet, so, but um, what I did was for today, I actually um, pretty much got some of my, the shopping I wanted to do for today, and I got some ice for the cooler as well. Um, but I'm going to show you what some type of shirts I did get um, at the visitor center of um, St. Mary's Visitor Center. Oh, car looks a hot mess, so don't don't judge me. I got the, the bag, which is I think it's really I, I'm I'm in love with the mountain goats here. Um, just because they were they were giving us a show yesterday when I did the um, the lake trail um, up up by Logan's Pass. So I was like I, I just fell in love with the goats, the mountain goats here, and plus they're the they're the mascots of the Glacier National Park. So I got this bag, which was five dollars. Now um, these shirts right here, this one. Uh, let's see this one which I thought was pretty cool bears love people um, and also this one is as well the only thing we have to fear is fear itself in bears I got this one at the shop um, right down by the um, campground I got the one at the shop so that was pretty cool and they were like 24 dollars they're, they're not cheap these these are not cheap but they're I like them and they're and these are pretty good for hiking I can actually for this one and this one you can hike in them because they're not a hundred percent cotton uh, so another one I got from the visitor center was this this shirt which you can go hiking as well because it's not a hundred percent cotton and that no oh, sorry burping here and that's something you want to actually look for in shirts that you want to wear on hiking because I like to wear like graphic t-shirts on the hiking part and also for um, I do a lot of driving gigs so cotton is not going to be fun for my driving gig and so I, I rely on these shirts because they're very well for the, the hot weather and this one was pretty good which was the Glacier National Park one and this one is I got these two at the visitor center and of course I did get the mountain goats uh, and I, I've been collecting like these type of stuffed animals since I've been going to the national parks last year and so I want to add this one to my collection which was the mountain goat I think the mountain goat like I said it has you know really 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 um I'm starting to love them ever since I saw them yesterday and also I got a, a an identification one this one's a little different from the one I got from Yellowstone so but this one actually it, it has the basic animals that has my like Yellowstone going all the way down to Grand Teton so um, this one should be pretty pretty a-okay for me to to use and these are actually uh, seven dollars and 95 cents these are pretty good good ones to have because they're um, water resistant and they're they're going to survive the elements out there for you so um, that's what i got today and it wasn't a wash today but i did get a lot of things um that i need to get done and I also i gotta do some i gotta actually start transferring some of the files to my computer as well so today wasn't so much of a wash um but it, it turned out pretty nice today <laughs> i mean it's, it's still nice still nice still pretty it's still, it's still nice. So who, if you did come out to the Glacier National Park today, you know, it's still a nice day. But um, just be wary of the rain. It is going to be coming in at some point because that's how rain rolls around here. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep subscribing to Coast Guy Adventures and also follow me on Facebook and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, subscribe and I will see you guys later.